Okay, it looks like I need a little quick short third video to finish this off because um, I had to cut off the, the end of the last one. So I just want to talk one more time about structural isomers. All right, and then I'll do a couple of examples with you. So in the last video, all right, we finished off by talking about the general formula, how um, the number of carbons determines the number of hydrogens. You double it and then you add two. And I want to go back to this um, part where we, we talked about how when we have long chains, all right, we can have situations where they can be uh, organized differently. They can have different connections. And so with this first guy here, they're all nicely in a row, and we call that N-butane, all right? And we could also take one of the carbons and, uh, and put it on a branch, all right? And I, I told you how this branch looks like a methane, except it's missing an H, so we call it a methyl, and that makes our name methylpropane, okay? All right? And we could have done the same with the 5, the pentane, but I was running out of time, so I didn't do that. But whenever we have long chains of carbons, we can attach them in many different ways. And when we attach them in many different ways, we have what we call structural isomers. It means they have the same chemical formula, but a different structural formula. All right? So the example we can use here is that that four carbons there, C4, H, remember we double it, that's eight, and then we add two, ten. That looks like that. All right, I'm not going to put the H's on. And, and that would be called N. Remember there's four. Four is butte. You've got to go back and look at your chart. Butane, all right? And butane, but I could also have a C4H10 that looks like this, that has a carbon up off of that guy, and I can have again all the H's. I'm not going to draw the H's in, but you can see there there's three, six, nine, and one down here on the bottom. That makes ten, and we call that methyl uh, propane because there's now only three of them in that row, methylpropane. And these are called structural isomers. They have the same chemical formula, <coughs> excuse me, but different structures. Okay, now that's, that's the end of the note. I know I'm taking three videos to do this. Let's do a couple of examples here, and then you've got a question sheet on Google Classroom. Okay, so ethane. We want to draw condensed structural formulas. Here's the way I like to do it. F. F, remember, is 2. So I go carbon, line, carbon. All right? And now I want to put the H's on it. There's one bond right there. That means this guy needs three more things. He needs three H's. H3. This guy also has one bond. He also needs three things. H3. All right? You could draw it out, put your three lines, but that's then not the condensed. So if you can already think about the fact that there's one line there and therefore the other two guys need three, you're in good shape. The molecular formula, C2H... Remember, times 2 is 4, plus 2 is 6, so that is H6, all right? Decane, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, oops, something happened. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Well, all of the, the end guys... H3, because they need three more, just like the end guys on ethane. H3 on the end, and all of the rest of them need two, because there's two bonds in there. Two. H2. 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 
When there's only two bonds, it's H2. The molecular formula, C10. All right, that looks like a 70. Better fix it. C10, H, double it, 20, plus 2, 22. All right. Let's name these guys. So, I'm going to zoom in here so we can see this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine all in a row. Non-ane. Remember, we could have different isomers. The carbons could actually be connected in different places. N. Oh, by the way, the N stands for normal. Normal non-ane. N. Okay? All right? Let's take a look at the next guy. This is written as a condensed structural formula. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hex. Hex. Ain. N. Hexane, all in a row, okay? And that'll help you now complete the question sheet so that you can